Today I spent 200 days in Planet Crafter. Not only that, but I beat the game by finding my way off the planet with a super secret hidden oasis. I also managed to build a thousand plus drones that became sentient, but also found the time to do my dirty work. If that wasn't enough, I built a staircase going to the heavens and enough fusion power to last me a lifetime. The entire playthrough was streamed on my Twitch channel Ray of Pandas Live, and if you want more but shorter content, check out more Ray of Pandas on YouTube. And without further ado, I spent 200 days in Planet Crafter and here's what happened. To start myself off right, it was all about expanding my little platform area out and into something so absurd that I could potentially build on. Eventually, I'd also have an army of AI sentient drones controlling and navigating my game, but we'll come back to that later. As big as these lockers were, I needed something more. Oh, here they are! We can actually start building them! Pulsar Quartz! Oh, ho, ho. What I wanted to work on next was getting the different areas ready for more drills. Instead of Baby Driver, I was about to become the Baby Driller. Ooh. Okay, uh, <laughs> that sounds weird. Maybe not exactly that. One of the most important things I would build alongside my drills were these upgraded optimizers. A little something with a lot of push. Money was going to be the next component needed in all this soon to be chaos. For that to happen, I needed to start selling more Pulsar Quartz. And with that, have my drones pick up everything and automate the selling process. The reason for the obsession with more money was because of a certain something with a certain recipe needed. It's just getting more storage, because if we get more storage, we can hold more. So the robots or drones will keep going at it. Uh, right here, T2 locker storage. <gasps> we just have to buy it once. That's right. I forgot. This is a, a memory chip. It's one of those cards. It's a blueprint. You unlock it, you get to build them all over. What I didn't seem to notice at the time was if there was even a way off the planet, let alone what the end of my story looked like. Oh, wait a second. Portal generator? Oh, my God. Allows you to reach distant wrecks with unique items to find? Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. Used to rejoin a ship in orbit. So we can actually get off the planet. I wonder if it finish up, finishes up the story. From the previous day, a certain space trading rocket of mine would land with exactly what I needed. All right. I don't know how I missed this, but apparently <laughs> it says automatically launch the rocket when the inventory is full. So that's a thing. Yeah. Holy crud. I don't even have to be here anymore. They could just make money for me all the time. Hold on. Actually, what if I do this? What if I just... Yeah, okay. It's just because it it was already okay. T2 locker storage. Yeah, buddy. Circuit board and two alloys. Easy freaking peasy. Now I just need to think of a way to set this up. I mean, I guess I could just do what I did before. <laughs> oh, look at that. Wait, what? So uh five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 35 spaces. This one is one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eighty spaces from thirty-five to eighty. Oh my god, that is beautiful. All I had to do now was figure out how the demand and supply worked. Who demanded what, and where did the supply come from? The absolutely most important thing I knew I would need was more drones. All right, let me just say I've put in way too much work, and this is crazy. My eyes are bleeding. They, they, they kind of do really hurt. So right now I have the circuit boards automated. Everything's automated from food to the plastic nuggets to the just everything. Look at this. Upgraded almost everything here too. <laughs> oh. Reaping all the benefits from my new storage and with the drones working for me, not against me, was beautiful. What also caught my eye here was back at the very beginning. The first place I had ever explored and now to finally share all that wealth with me. Hey. Here we go. Hello. Go here. Oh, whoa, all the red lights are on, too. Oh, look at that. It's like fully inactive now. <laughs> OK, well, let's go see what it opened up. If it did, oh, it did. Yo, it totally did. All right, what do we got? Oh, dang, son. Get out of my way. I want the stuff. I mean, I might as well do that. I'll just throw it away. Uh, oh. Look at this. Production multiplier. Oh, another production multiplier. We have like these big vault doors. Oh my God. You see this? This is so cool. This is just one little section in the ship, man. How lucky was I to finally able to explore all the crashed ships on this very planet? Their loss and my gain. Not only that, but with each reactor filled into the slots, I'd come across these giant looking lockers that needed both hands to open them up. What slowly became the most impressive thing during my playthrough was having way too much energy to the point of my game crashing or dropping FPS way too much. Fun times, let me tell you. 
All right, how much power? <laughs> Almost 10,000, okay. The last little bits and doodads I dabbled with were my tree spreaders. The trees were just random stuff I planted down really started to spread a lot more than I thought and eventually to the point where I wouldn't be able to see anything. Shout out to my short kings, am I right? Closer than I ever was before, I was finally able to bring together all the missing parts to this masterpiece, the je ne sais quoi. Right there, maybe? Ah, here we go. Okay, cool. So long range wrecks detected. The portal generator used locational IDs and to find different places to explore. More than that, I felt nostalgia from No Man's Sky mixed in with a bit of Astroneer. All right, portal, do your best. Whoa. Going from easy mode to now hard mode with the levels of each location, some were easier and others were just hard to find. What they all had in common, however, was that juicy loot at the end money again and quartz i love the quartz man through all the different places this portal took me the one question i had was if these places existed within the normal game loop or only when traveling via the portal figuring out i could use my drones for so much more almost everything in game would allow me to use them for my bidding and <laughs> let me tell you i was i was a happy man oh they can actually put algae in it okay i was testing this out i wasn't sure if they could actually go and take all of it look at it they're all taking it they're putting the algae inside here oh <laughs> that's gonna be insane man okay that's wicked that's so cool what i started to notice the next day were my drones taking a little break turns out if i didn't have enough activities going around the base they'd get bored so with a lot of elbow grease things were looking up for the panda man that's me i'm red pandas if you didn't know hey how's it going the next task of mine was to build more oxygen canisters. These bad boys would give me a lot more resources for my pulsar quartz. With a few more drills needed to be placed, a nice change of scenery with the pouring rain was just what the doctor ordered. That and taking my sweaty butt back through the portal for more goodies. Ooh, what is this? Insert fuse into an optimizer to increase the speed of a nearby trade space. Oh, a one for space raw. I didn't know you could do that. Okay. Well, back at my base, I found something strange happening here. <laughs> oh, do you see all the, uh, look at it. You see all the uh, drones I have? AI's taking over, man. It's taking over. <gasps> Jude, Jude, how are you doing, Jude? We're all, oh, I get mammals next. Oh, oh, we actually get creatures in the game. Oh my God. Oh, Ray is malfunctioned. You're malfunctioning. I'm going to take my fist and ram it up. You're malfunctioning. To me, there was no difference from when the rockets took flight into space and arrived back on the platforms. I figured this trade rocket fuse would help me, but I didn't notice any difference at all. Surprisingly enough, I didn't expect to see a whole other location full of life. The largest of trees surrounding the place and butterflies to frogs infesting the areas. It was a sight to behold. While using portals to go to different locations was fun, I was really trying to extend my platforms out. I had the idea of placing railings down, but apparently they wouldn't take. I was hoping for a nice snap on and snap off feature, but sadly that just wasn't today. This is where the chaos started forming, taking shape into something so beautiful, most would say blinding to the eye. My army of drones would also grow in size too, crafting up as many as I could. Soon, the whole world would be mine. <laughs> would you look at that? A beautiful mind at work and one building all of the platforms. It wouldn't be total chaos without having built more oxygen canners as well. What I was curious about now is how these optimizers work for my power sources. But if I go over here... Ooh. Okay. They are, whoa, they get an extra thousand, I believe, right? Yeah, it's 1,400, and now with the upgrade, it is 2,200. That marks the last one, the last one of this beautiful mayhem. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> we have 42,000, not bad at all. And our next stage is into 29%. We have a lot more we can start building and doing, but I really want to get like all of this super, super done, you know? This far into the game, I had every type of item being automated for my drones. Looking more into my crafting station, there were still a few things I needed. Somehow I missed a lot of good stuff. Even the next tier of backpack that I should have had so much earlier on. There's a, there's been a bigger backpack this entire time. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Uh, da 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 da. Okay, haha, ha, jokes on me. <laughs> oh my god, dude, there's been a. This would have helped me so much more just to fill stuff more. Animal feeder extraction platform. Extraction platform? Oh my god. Dude, that's insane. Holy crap. Used to rejoin a ship in orbit? Is that like end game stuff? Like, what's going on? <laughs> okay. 
The platforms were definitely many and all I could think of was break time. No rhyme or reason to doing all this, I just wanted to. The next day I realized I could just use my already made drones I had for upgraded versions. The T1 drones would give me more important pieces with a few recyclers going, so this was going to be a piece of cake. Even with it being nighttime, my flashlight became a flashbang and shined too much light. All I could say now with the amount of drones I had, I still felt like I needed more. I wanted enough drones to the point where it covered the entire screen, every inch of my base. As I was scouring new playing fields and looking for more quartz, I had the idea of building myself a warden detector. It was time to finally see what hidden temple of dooms were out there. Sadly for me, most of the places I would come by kept giving me the basic or just rare quartz. Oh, and did I forget to mention that my income in-game allowed me to buy so many more production fuses? With more cooldown and faster drilling, the speed at which my drones would gather stuff became two times faster. I'm lying. It became so much faster. Faster than two times. Three times. Maybe four times. This definitely took me way longer than expected, but man, was I happy to finally see the finished product. Rather, the finished platforms. Building this for no reason, I just put out platforms because I was like, hmm, I don't know. kind of wanted to. It's just chaos. It's mayhem. It's um, it's laggy. It's <laughs> there's moments where my game kind of shuts off. After all of that, I felt like building a good five to ten more drills at each site. I then moved my portal around and looked for the best and highest rarity I could find. Solar quartz were still huge on my list. The next day, I really started to notice the amount of points coming in. These huge T5 heaters gave me a big bump in the terraformation index, and with each one built, so did my points increase. Oh, we finally made it to TTI. Oh my god. TTI. TTI is the last one. Holy crap. Legit. TTI is the last one here. So we got right here. 125 TTI. 125 and 5. Insane. So my way to get off this planet is to get to 5 TTI. Focusing a bit more on the cooking side of things, I wanted to set up a bunch more food growers. Having the idea to craft up one of everything was a go. I'd also get a big delicious cookie out of it. What happened next was me getting lost in a lot of trees and flora around. I was either too short or there was just too many tree spreaders going around. I also became one with the cookie and for many more to come. So if you need a cookie out there, let me know. <gasps> Guess what, guys? We're going to get our first cookie and eat our first cookie. and It's going to be delicious. I got a cookie. I got a cookie. You ready? Increased running speed for a small period. Cookie factor, you bake a cookie. All right, get ready, achievement. I'm gonna eat a cookie now. Ooh, that move speed is actually nice. Holy crap. The biggest secret hidden beneath the lands dealt with the wardens. Huge structures that were built long ago. Hello. Ooh. Hello. Oh my God. I found an ancient civilization. I have almost a million power. I'm awesome. Yo, you get to explore and everything. <laughs> I even came across more keys and power sources that left me more confused than once I started. It's also that time in the video, and if you made it this far, comment Warden down below. Being able to min-max and optimize everything, the only thing I didn't touch was my food source. They did grow fast and gave me loads of food, but I needed more. This meant looking for worms. A worm that would eventually turn into a bee larva and allow me to start building bigger and apparently much better planters. The next day was looking beautiful as all these new plots were giving me more points into plants, insects, and just general growth. That wasn't the only thing, however, because I still needed to fill out a little something something. Ooh, it's so pretty during the blue. Look at it. The contrast of that. Keep coming, blue stuff. Oh, oh this is so pretty. <gasps> I feel like I need more though, you know? As you could see, my money now was so much better than in the beginning and left me spending as much as I could on more fuses. That or just the random blueprint that I'd want later down the line. Was I done here though? Oh no, 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 I was far from done. This was only just the beginning. Oh, we did it, we did it, we did it. Look, 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 look. This is how we went from what our power level was to what it is now. It's not even over. 1,239,000 and 14 kilowatts. We are over the million marker. And then planet stage is uh, current stage. The next stage looking mighty fine, actually. 
Oh man, I like that. It was unreal to see how far my drones had come. So much so you could actually see the amount of all the antennas sticking out of them. The plan was simple. Break down all the different types of heaters and generators I had built and replace them with new ones. Nuclear fusion power source that would eventually cover the entirety of this platform. Now I was on a roll. Being able to grab all the resources I needed, one by one, the power source would come together nicely. It also felt like it was time for a few more T2 drones. So while having those drones automated into this chest here nicely, I started making room for all of my chocolate and wheat. This is when it hit me. The amount of drones I had was too much, but it was always a good time. They also looked like little flies or mosquitoes out in the distance. This is what I was talking about. All those drones a guy could ever want or need. Having everything in place and set up the way I wanted it all, I found a space trade rocket filled with a bunch of energy fuses. Looking to up my game, these new optimizers of mine would eventually take me into endgame. Out of all the places I've been to, this is, uh, this is looking to be the mightiest find yet. It would be nice to know if I could, like, get out, which, I mean, I'm guessing I can't. There's probably no way of getting out. And you know what? That's okay. That's all right. But now I gotta find the good stuff here, the good loot, the juicy loot. But man, do I have a lot to show you back at my base. What I've been up to, oh, ho, ho. <laughs> let me tell you, way too much building. Back inside yet another crash site, I still had my blinders on for more solar quartz and DNA samples. <gasps> Look at that, we actually found one. Solar quartz in just like a normal chest. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my God, these things are so hard to come by. Ha, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> RNG is on my side today. Okay. Oh, there was one of these. I thought I got everything for some reason. Not today. Ooh, look at this. We got five of them. Oh, my. And oh, mama. Money. I haven't done it yet, so of course I need them. But do I want them? Not really. Truth be told, I visited a lot more places and picked up a lot more loot. <gasps> Another one. Oh, my God. That is amazing. Okay, good. I also did another great big thing back in my base. As you can see, this is what I have so far. We've got way too many T5 series uh, Peters going all the way around because why not, right? Why the heck not? I mean, I really don't know why, but <laughs> I just wanted them. This felt right. While clearing out my inventory and making things look pretty was the name of the game right now. I also wanted to show you this little something something. This is about halfway done. I don't know what it means going from mammals to next stage, which is there's literally nothing under it. It's just planet. I don't know. So maybe that is the last one, last stage. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, right? It has to be. Oh, wait, are these done too again? That's done. That's done. Let's be honest here. You didn't come to see me farm or zap alloy or iridium for hours on end. No, you came for good content, good stuff, the content, the entertainment. I'm going to show you the biggest, the coolest and the baddest, like by baddest, I mean the greatest thing ever. First of all, I uh, made a little, a uh, couple more plots of whatever you want to call these just plots for food to grow and gather more quickly. But on top of that, we got a lot more drones where they start, they're starting to do the, uh, the jitter dance. When you get too many drones, they jitter. Also, do you see my index, my terraformation index now? That thing is crazy. It is bonkers. Literally 3.8. I think the last time you might've seen it was like 1.5 or something. I don't know. Maybe 1.8. Oh, man, I spent way too much time doing this. It's way too much time. First of all, let's go to Rainium. Let me just show you. So I built a lot of stuff, right? You see this? I kind of ran out of space to put them down here and there was nowhere else. So I was like, hmm, where else could I place my drills? And you know what? Building them on the sides actually work. So you just place them all wherever you want to and you're good to go. On top of that, for every location that I've done this with, which is every single drill place, these things right here, the optimizers, I had no idea. So when you hover over them, it shows you like which ones they're optimizing, but apparently they stack like a lot. So if you have just the one, it'll go down to 60 something seconds and 50. Look at this production time. You see that 12 seconds. We're getting these 12 seconds a pop. This is one drill of, um, one two three many of them there is <laughs> so many so i've uh done a lot more on this side too huh look at this a lot more here a lot more optimizers optimizing things <laughs> it's crazy man i'm just building at this point like there's you know it's so much to build i gotta start building some animal shelters because i haven't seen that too and that actually sounds really sick that's the broken rocket don't mind him he's just 
a little derpy sometimes. He'll get the job done. And then these. So I got rid of everything else and started building a couple more power supplies. <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. We're going to have one row there, one row here. We're just going to boost everything. I might be able to take all of something out just so you can see how many drones I really have. Let's see if I can do this. There was just a couple there. I, I wish I could just disperse them. Like, is there a way to... Oh, right here. Look at this. Oh, my God. So I have a total of 1,001 drones. So I don't really need any more drones, but I love making drones. But I don't need any more drones. Okay, while well, the blue's here, look at this. Look at the pretty colors. Look at the pretty colors. So pretty. I love when this happens. It just creates a nice little effect. This is what went down. See new drill. <gasps> T5 drills. Oh my God. Gotta build T5 drills. Notice more power in my production. All right. My power is currently 1.7 million. <laughs> Holy crap. Fly over to nearest skull and bones sand filled area. All right, drill. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize it'd be so big. Why is it so big? And ask myself the most important question yet. How many can I build? Oh my god. I <laughs> All right, I'm not going to show you until I covered the entire place with drills. This is going to be silly. Oh my god. Afterwards, I was concerned about the power these drills were using. T5 drills, 56. Oh, only 5,000. Holy crap, we're building so many more. Let's go. What would take me a good one to two more trips? No, wait, was it two? Yeah, it was two more trips. Hold on. Wasn't there a third? Oh, <gasps> Oh, what? How did I build? Oh, what? I built it wrong. Okay, it's sideways. Drilling sideways. You guys like sideways drilling? Great, me too. This is when I went B A N A N A N S. I went bananas on those drills and had a whole minefield cooked up. You know what? I won't lie. Even my T5 drills caught me off guard and scared the bejesus out of me here. This is a little show and tell for what actually went down. As you can see, lots went down, but moments later, I wouldn't be able to see just the same. Man, did the trees really take up all the space. Something else you may not have known about me is when playing survival games, I loved doing things in the name of science. Wait, does this actually work? Oh, I'm on the rocket. I don't. Oh, oh, did I did I mess it up again? Is that the bad one? I. <laughs> Let's see. Will you lift me off into space, please? Come on. Lift me. Yes. 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 No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no, 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 I messed it up again, guys. I messed it up. I messed it up. Oh, I messed it up. Oh, did I mess it up? And it's in the water. It's, it's stuck. It's just stuck. It's, what is it doing? Who knows? Doing something. It's trying to get up. <laughs> You're not getting up anytime soon, buddy. I've got too many platforms. Do I just lose that one forever now? Is that a thing? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. You think that's enough drills? <laughs> I think it's enough drills. The next day, I was planning on moving some trees around, adding a few more where I could, and making the area feel less congested. That didn't really go as planned because I realized while searching through my items and chests, there wasn't much left. I just made my way around the perimeter and added as many tree spreaders as I could with as many jars as I had. With my stomach empty and a nice idea of making some food, I decided on cooking up one of everything, or at least the things I could, which in retrospect was all but one item, okay? All you needed to know was the cake was not a lie. It still felt like there was too much while looking out into the distance with all the trees bunched up. So now I would be flying around some more, finding certain trees better stacked with one another. This meant I could deconstruct quite a few of them and move to a new area, finding any place I could for the builds I had left. Moments later, I was about to become fish food with all the meteorites headed towards me. So I figured why not sneak underneath this thing? What occurred to me the next day, why did I only have four autocrafters going this entire time? Why not six or eight or 10 of them? So that's what I did. Putting more focus onto crafting these pulsar cores and making the space trade rockets sell stuff faster. I also did a little look-see into my chests that the drills were gathering up for me. Now I could build even more lockers and bring in the bacon. This was the result of that, and as you could see, there was so much just sitting in storages not being used. I also didn't realize the amount of drones I had that were inactive and created this little sentient ants from Quantum Mania. I mean, just look at all these buggers coming and going. With a few more optimizers running at full speed, I needed more. More production fuses, more energy fuses, just more fuses. It was also time for something very special, okay? I had to get this. 
for nostalgia purposes and also just being able to note this down. We are at the last point into five TTI, which I believe is the last thing we needed for this one bracket here. And then we get the extraction platform. So hopefully it does a achievement thingy. I no idea what to expect. Oh, <gasps> there it is. There it is. Achievement reach complete terraformation biosphere. We officially have a biosphere on our planet. Oh, even this. Current stage to next stage. It's infinity. That's why we also needed this year. Holy crap. I actually did it. I actually got to the end of this game. Are you kidding me? It was like a first time in a long time. I've gotten to an end of a game, but that said, look at this. And then if we go here, ooh, look at that. Look at that. I have everything too. It's so easy. Extraction platform. And you know what's crazy? It looks like it's building the pod we actually came into originally. But I'm not done yet. We still have plenty of stuff we want to do, or I do. Is that lava there? No shot, that's lava. Having a lot to think about as the day progressed, it seemed like the right thing to do was send this rocket into space. That isn't exactly what happened as the trees before them were definitely in the way. Though it did give me a nice way to ride this thing into space. The funny thing about this next part, I found all I needed to make the next GPS rockets that would fly into space, GPS 3 and 4, but somewhere along the line, I didn't even think to open up the map for a bit. The two biggest things I still wanted to finish were insects and animals, getting those points moving and somehow expanding life on this planet. This is also what a few days of death looked like. There was a whole thing about this, needing to pee, then having to help with groceries, and only noticing a few hours later that I died many, many times. Little tower though, right? Zooming around the lands today, I was looking for a place to build my silkworm generators. This definitely wouldn't work outside, and seeing as my base couldn't take any more leg, I was hoping for the best. The best place, however, was for them to be inside my base, but actually up top where there was less congestion and less lag. It also felt a lot easier to get around. All I had left to do now was give my silkworms a few optimizers to bump up that production. I still can't believe I didn't notice this thing. What? Did I just unlock here? Again, my voice, sorry, I know I'm a little still under the weather, but large explosive device place this under the warden's anomaly and trigger it to be able to leave the planet. Was it a bomb for the world or maybe some place I had yet explored? At this point in, I was still unable to figure out the animal issue. Part of me wasn't sure if I'd actually get animals or mammals crafted up. So this is, oh, planetary view. Look at that. Uh, we have oxygen, which is 200,000% or 2,000%. This one is 200,000, which is heat or which is the asteroids. Oh, more asteroids equals heat, pressure, plants. The only thing to do now is to build some more butterfly domes next to my bark. Back on that animal shelter train, I found my lockers finally stocking up the silk I needed. And with the rest of the materials at my fingertips, somehow I figured this new shelter would immediately give me animals or a animal. You could probably tell that more work was needed to be done if I was to ever get a single mammal in the game. It couldn't hurt to also build some animal feeders. You know, in case a random mammal came running around, setting them up to be automated with the eggplants and onions, I was onto bigger and better things. It says, insert creature's DNA to spawn animals. Oh, my bad. Genetic synthesizer. Okay. Today was that day I built a genetic synth. This would make all my dreams come true. Unfortunately for me, I still needed different DNA strands for making a specific animal. Some needed colors and other needed certain traits. My plan now was to build an aquarium or two and see where they took me. Or perhaps a frog pond, maybe. I knew at this moment for these water life collectors to bring in any fish, I was going to have to wait a little. Since I was in the business of building new things, a nice little home for some soon-to-be synth would do the trick. Gaining the sequences and ability to finally make fish eggs was a whole other ballgame. So with a few bigger storages made and setting the right demands for them, I would soon be able to fill my fish tanks. Today I caught this next thing by mistake. It almost looked like an old school Pac-Man game that I stumbled upon too. What am I even looking at? <laughs> what is going on? Yo, do you see this right now? What the heck? I zoom out. Look at where my drones are going. There is literally a constant feedback of drones to the point where like I don't need to worry anymore. And there's even drones in the middle, as you see there, that are just stuck because there's nowhere else for them to go unless they have a place to go, which they don't. Remember when I mentioned I'd be filling some fish tanks up? Yeah, 
these were those things and then some i'd say one of the biggest reasons i did give up on the smaller fish tanks was because of this round balls or spheres as new fish tanks and it would let me place them in such an odd way though that wouldn't stop me i borrowed a nice set of looking automatic doors and decided to take a peek inside the bottoms were completely open so i slipped on in jumping back up top i realized that just like the domes i had to find fish eggs and place them inside Last thing I made sure to do was build myself two projectors to prove the cake was not a lie. What took me far too long and what felt like an endless task, I really wanted to build a staircase to the heavens. Or at least until it stopped. I'll tell you right now, it didn't stop. It just had me going one after the next. Taller and taller did this thing become. A chaotic eyesore and that fits so well in the midst of everything else. Continuing my journey unclimbing the stretch of the staircase that laid in front of me, I found myself panicking while using the jetpack. Things got a little finicky and I fell. Was it to my death? Well, let's wait and see. My other reasoning behind this was to face the inevitable and invisible wall head on and see if I could break the game. Taking a look down towards the land, I felt butterflies in my stomach and I started clenching my teeth. Yeah, I fell again. I, you know, I just fell. I was falling, falling and falling some more. So surprised to see what actually happened next. This marked the last few days as I would finally finish building all of those nuclear reactors. Having hundreds of them built, I was determined to make sure these optimizers would produce two times the power if not more. With the new day here, this is when I realized I made the biggest mistake and that left a pretty big impact on my drones and so much more. This had to do with the oxygen canisters I built. They were fantastic and many, but soon after I would find out the truth. Following other upgrades, I actually had tier 2 or, or T2 oxygen canisters that did give more space and even more speed for production time. It felt like a complete betrayal that they didn't show themselves sooner. I was heartbroken. With these animal shelters really starting to test my patience, I debated if it was even worth the hassle or not. I looked stuff up too. Best thing I could find at the time was something about shredding, though as you could clearly see, this wasn't doing a darn thing. All that seemed left to do was search for the rest of the story, wondering if I was missing any keys or important items. It was time for a little adventure. So going past as many boundaries as I could, I made sure to visit untouched oasis spots or just places I hadn't visited yet. I was hoping for the best and maybe they would have things I needed. Though I will say my money was on revisiting all the different wooden locations. The first one being the lazy river or the place with the pretty colors. No extra keys, but just coordinates. Probably one of the more important locations at the time though, the caves of the super alloy. While backtracking to this place and as picking up everything was my specialty, the one thing I didn't understand was what these coordinates meant. Each altar I found had some and this last place it took me to, I felt so lost. There didn't seem to be anything nearby. Somehow I did end up missing another hidden altar. Come to find find another set of keys. The best thing to do now was to reset, fill up my belly, and get the show back on the road. Part of me though wondered if I missed more hidden altars. Maybe there was more I just didn't come across yet. Truth be told, I really should have just stuck to my gut, because that was not what happened at all. I just wasted my time. <laughs> The only place that housed any secrets was back inside the oasis looking spire. One, two, three, and then, oh, oh my god, that's coming down, isn't it? Secret entrance. Really big door, too. Obviously, I wouldn't have found this. Oh, my God. Ooh. Find the ancient paradise. <gasps> that is beautiful. That is freaking beautiful, man. Oh, my God. Look at it. This is the ancient paradise, guys. Ooh, I like it. 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 I like it a lot. Dude. Ooh, hello this and take that oh huh, thank you okay there's one key Are there more keys here then another key okay once we lived oh now we die oh wow so that's why i needed five keys okay look at that Woo. oh five keys ta-da hello worm and another super secret entrance oh i love it i love it i love it oh <laughs> this is so cool, man. What do we got going on? Oh, look at all the golden butterflies. Holy crap. So many. I mean, let's be honest. This is paradise, right? Oh, there's a whoa, golden butterfly larva. Oh, I can get my own. Oh, my God. I'm taking it all. Once again, a calamity befalls our people. If the predictions are correct, a meteor will hit the planet in just a few days. 
The cities we built, the splendors we created, will fall. Our arts, traditions, discoveries, and lives will vanish. Once again, destruction is upon us, but this time, we will not flee as we did generations ago. What is the point of running away when demise chases you so vigorously? We accept our fate, are proud of what we are, and remain true to our values. Our story will disappear under the ashes of flames and dust. Like a butterfly life, beautiful and evanescent, it's time to meet our end. Oh my god. Nothing more, nothing less. That's that's it. This message, it said it all. Knowing that this would be my last day, it was time to fill in the rest of the nuclear power sources, making sure I didn't miss a single one. I also made sure to give my beautiful butterflies a nice home. We got some blue butterflies. Golden. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my god, I love it. Look at it. They're just zooming. They got the little golden trails. Woo! Oh, yeah, buddy. I love it. Looks really good. So with all the materials for a bomb, it was time to build the bomb and get ready for something to go boom. Oh, big red button. Press it. And nine. Can I stay here and wait? Um. Uh. Should I go? Yeah, I'll go. Oh! 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 Well. Turns out I will die, or would die. <laughs> All right, well, let's grab that. There it is. There is our rocket, our way off. Open extraction platform. Go interface. Leave your planet. Place your fate in the hands of Sentinel Corp. That sounds dangerous. This next part felt really reminiscent to Subnautica and how it made you fill a storage up for your trip off the planet. Something about it was so sweet and bitter. It's the power, man. The power was the biggest thing start to finish in this game. I didn't think I could have this much power, but let me tell you, with all those optimizers, I went from, I think I was at just under 2 million. Look what we're at now. <laughs> oh, double, double, double the trouble. 4.1 million. That's insane. That's absolutely bonkers, man. What the heck? But this was it, guys. 200 days oh my god 200 days all right i'm excited to see what's gonna happen here let's leave the planet place your fate in the hands of sentinel corp sure leaving the planet here we go <laughs> say goodbye guys this is it this is the one the one here we go oh my god they're just here after all that work, they just, they're there immediately. They couldn't have come sooner. Congratulations, you have successfully terraformed this planet. All right, cool. We will now re-examine your sentence based on various deviations from the rules that could have been attributed to you. Wait, my sentence? Was I going to die? For the moment you will remain in detention while your case is examined sentinel court this feels like subnautica man yo they don't like us altera sentinel corp i mean okay planet crafter friggin awesome holy crap didn't do the animal thing but still loved it absolutely loved it thank you guys so much thank you for watching thank you for giving me the code to this game just thank you thank you thank you thank you i'm still kind of sick but i hope you enjoyed this man i really do like Subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>